this video. What the f that guy looking at, bro? What a f creep. Oh! No, keep staring. This is why I hate men, bro. Oh my god, he's coming here. Look, look, look. Oh my god. Me, what do you want? I knew you were gonna come and talk to me. No. Like, what a. No, get just, away from me. No, no, I just need to ask if I can use the white belt. Yeah, sure, sure. Go get it. Go. And get out of here. Okay. Are you coming here to hit on girls? Is that all you do? Is that why you come to the gym? F***ing grub. Hey guys, I didn't want to post this, but I have to show how uncomfortable it is for women to be at the The fact that these women don't want guys to watch them working out, yet they videotape their workouts and post them online for millions of people to view, is hypocritical. Men and women may be seen working out in harmony in the background, did someone ask them whether it was okay if they were in her video and it was watched by many people? I doubt it though. I would contend that recording yourself in the gym and thus recording others is worse than a guy looking at you. As many people tend to point out on these videos, the fact they are worried about one guy looking but uploading themselves to thousands of dudes online is just insane. I love how these girls complain about people looking at them in the gym while they are recording themselves for possibly thousands of people to see them with a close-up view on TikTok. Men's domain is the gym, and women are guests there. I never said women can't be in the gym, but you show respect. Dressing in your underwear and then accusing someone of being a creep because they inevitably look in your direction is horrible behavior. The difference between those pants and shorts and your underwear is, uh, your underwear is less tight? This is how to not approach girls at the gym. Sweeties. so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 like feral. Swatch. The five adds five pounds. And these are the weights. Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. See what I mean? All right, here. In many countries, you are not allowed to film anyone in public without their permission. We need some restrictions in the US, such as gyms, churches, doctors, or dentist offices, and other places where you or someone else is working on yourself, spiritually, or physically. Privacy should not completely disappear once you walk out of your home. There should be some places where you can still have it. Women hog an entire area, using multiple machines, barbells, taking forever. Tell them to stop circuit training where they use four machines at once, along with a bench doing pelvic thrust exercises. If a woman is on the bench press machine, I already know I'm not going to get to use it because she'll be there for an hour doing 10 different leg exercises, blocking that machine from everyone else. The gym because of men. Dude just wanted to grab the weight belt. I hope she feels awful for accusing him of staring. All of this makes us question, why not have men-only gyms? We perceive ancient cultures as backward, concerning social interactions between men and women. But these old cultures had wisdom. Men and women were separated, and both genders had their own spaces. This way, confusion was avoided. Now we are returning to these old ways by wanting separate spaces like gyms. But the problem with men-only gyms is that gym businesses simply cannot sustain a man's gym or a woman's gym. If possible, the gym should prohibit cameras and videos for personal business such as YouTube or TikTok channels. We're not in grade school anymore with separate schools. An easy test would be this. Open two gyms side by side for males and females only. 100% positive the male gym will succeed in membership and be fruitful. The female gym will 100% fail in six months or less depending on membership deals. I bet if I was some wealthy Saudi prince, they wouldn't want to kick me out. Yeah, what are you doing? My leg day warm up? No, don't give me that bullshit. I know you know what you're doing. So actually, I'm not going to You know what's actually wrong with those? 
Are you pointing at me? Yeah. Stop! This is fucking ridiculous. Don't come to my gym either. Keep it online, man. Don't fucking do this online. So the gym manager told her not to record other gym members, and she did it anyway. Then her followers also called the gym manager and informed the manager of her while she was live recording. The gym manager tells her to stop recording, or she'll call the police. Then she go all the way to extreme victim mode by saying, she's a victim of racism because the white gym manager is kicking her out. After all, she's also white. Wait, what? Guys, I can tell you that I started working out at home, and that was the best thing I could have done. No comparative stare-downs from insecure guys, none of these weird influencers, no waiting for your turn, no driving to the gym, no naked guy pacing up and down in the changing room, no membership fee, my workout time is cut in half. Just total bliss, my bench, weights, pull-up bar, exercise bike, resistance bands, cable pulley, and my peace of mind. Twice the results, and zero BS. Another problem is that women experience creeps in the minority but assume the majority of men are like that, so they become hyper-aware to protect themselves. But the men who are getting blamed are done so by the minority of women, and in response, men withdraw to protect themselves. All of which is sensible to some degree, though we all need to learn to interact with each other respectfully. Take phones away from the gym and just treat each other with dignity and respect. A lot of problems would be solved if gyms would implement a stricter dress code. No skin-tight clothing, no exposed midriffs, no cleavage, a minimum of 5-inch loose-fitting gym or running shorts and sleeveless tops or tees. No tank tops. No sports bras. Only outfits. No yoga pants. No exceptions regardless of gender. It's not about women wanting access to services. The world is overflowing with choices for women. It's rather about demanding that absolutely everything in the world be oriented around them. It's about undermining others' choices in any way they can, out of narcissistic spite. It's about paranoid suspicion of men talking with other men, in the false assumption that everyone else must be as hateful as they are. The sad thing is, these women are spoiling it for the majority of good women out there who want to be approached in person. If you're a man with value and in decent shape, approaching a woman in person and complimenting her will make her day, provided she's a good woman. I've had women tell me they desire someone who'll approach them in person, not the ones who approach online via text or DMs. Gyms across the world are that one place where people go to work on themselves, find peace, and even help each other out if they're confused. That's the gym spirit. Sadly, that spirit has been broken by scores of female influencers who want to work out their egos and publish them online for the world to see, but will complain about the one guy who glanced at her when she was recording. Of course, if it's a good-looking man, the recording keeps on, and the woman keeps doing her thing happily. But if it's an ugly guy, then he gets to be called a creep. The key is to not allow yourself to be stigmatized or emasculated for being human. I saw a girl doing a technically flawless squat and told her, wow, that's an excellent technique. She responded, were you watching me? I said, of course I observe everyone. It's a great way to learn. No apology or shame is required. End of story. The whole camera thing has gotten out of control. It's quite hideous displaying their mammary glands like an animal to subconsciously entice a male with their potential for producing higher quantities of higher fat content milk for the offspring of their potential mating. Wider hips with the thigh gap subconsciously tell a male that the female has a better chance, wider birth canal, of birthing said offspring. They are not even actually human. There is no sentience there, just animals spraying territory, running on gym equipment. One of the major attributes of men that women are attracted to is being fit, it depicts masculinity, discipline, and the ability to achieve goals. A man that hits the gym consistently can be a protector, they say. But where do they go from here? Now that the men in the gym don't want them anymore, gym girls are being rejected by men. Men are not taking it as a joke. It is a hyped trend that has managed to sweep through the gym industry. Many women are angry and frustrated, both the well-meaning ones and the attention seekers. They can't even get any man to offer them help in the gym and talk less about approaching a man because he is good looking. It's not a blanket statement when I say that gym girls are getting rejected in gyms across America. Go to your nearest gym, observe what the women are doing, and compare it to what the men are trying to do, and you'll have the answer yourself. You will see women twerking around with either their friends pointing the phone camera to their ass, or a camera on a tripod, trying to catch the woman doing everything she possibly can to seduce her online followers in the hopes of receiving some donations from a fat sugar daddy in Mexico. 
And when you see the men, you will see them trying to use the machines and do their workouts desperately, trying to avoid walking in front of a woman with a camera just so that they can't be accused of being perverts. That's what this whole debate is about. Men are sick to their bones with women destroying their gym experience. They're sick of having to wait for a bunch of girls gossiping in front of the squat machine and taking hours trying to film themselves with the best shots of their assets. When these gyms start realizing they're not going to stay in business long if they keep allowing this kind of nonsense, it'll change. Not to mention when these predators looking for the next viral video realize there's no longer any prey, then they'll move on too. Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Support us and help us spread support for men around the world. Do comment and share your thoughts. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.